Greetings. I hope this video finds you well and prospering. Hey, check this out. Hey, whatever a man gets involved with, listen, you have to have a strategy. It doesn't have to be anyone else's strategy. It can be your strategy. The things that work, multiply those. Things that don't work, cast them off. Don't return to those. But a man should have a customized strategy to his life. What I've learned in my 53 calendar years of living in the United States of the corporation, it's, uh, it's not very strategical to date these American women. It's, I mean, <clears throat> excuse me. It's, it's, you know, it's all right to an extent. But once you try things and you want to be, you want to have a high success rate. So what I do, I reward good behavior. Listen, a lot of women want to equate that to I'm not no dog. I know you're not a dog. This this principle still this. This tactic, this strategy still applies to the woman. Listen, <laughs> well, if you've raised children, maybe you have, maybe I have four adult children. I've raised my children. I didn't reward them for bad behavior. Yeah, it's like you go to work a job and, uh, you don't get rewarded and get benefits for being a garbage employee. Your business doesn't get uh, profitable and people don't patronize your business because you're trashy business. You know, this is just, it's just a universal thing. You know, complying, good behavior, hey, gets rewarded. I know that people be talking about good guys finish last and all that. No, they don't. Man, good guys stay winning. People need to stop telling that lie. I've been, been a good guy all my life. I never, you know, I don't approach nobody with bad intent. Man, good guys stay winning. My mother told me that years ago. She said, these, these little girls like you. Because you're not running game on him. You're not playing with him. He's just a sincere dude. Now, my mother told me that when I was a teenager. Moms and pops always gave me good game. Always. And my mother told me, don't, don't you never be intimidated by a woman. No matter how she looks, don't be intimidated by no woman. Good game. I reward the women that I deal with. She line up, she do what she do what is pleasing to me. Hey, we can go to the movies. We can go to dinner. She can uh she can spend time with me. My world is the access point. Not every woman is welcome into my world. You can't just be having random women coming in and out of your kingdom. Listen, the only ones that should have access is the submissive, obedient ones or the ones who you deem the characteristics that you're looking for in women. Those should be the only ones who have access to the kingdom. And men need to start considering their bodies as treasure as well. I know this society propped up that the woman is the reward and the woman is the gift. And 
Man, flip it around, man. You are the reward. You are the gift. There is no greater gift that a woman can have other than a man and vice versa. Man, the best thing a man can have is a woman. I don't care how you want to look at it. Listen, them two come together and create another life. That's another discussion. But when you out here talking about, you know, teamwork, making the dream work and teaming up with somebody. I personally, personally would rather team up with females than guys. Because I, I, I lead females. I'm not I'm not really trying to lead a bunch of guys. I want I want guys to lead themselves. We can get alongside each other, but I wind this video down. Yeah, when I was uh I was hiring guys to drive semi truck for me. I wasn't hiring them to be their employer. And I was like, hey, you need some you know, help you out, I get another truck. But once you learn this trucking game, I want you to get your own truck. So I was pretty much like uh, training these guys to be owner operators. And they were like apprentice. Some of us, hey, some some guys just be like, nah, man, I don't, I don't want to get involved with that. I'll just drive for you. I get that part of it too. But I never was one to be like, man, I'm about to lead a bunch of guys. I think every man should be a leader in his own right. I think that's his God given right. Yeah, that's that's just that's just where my mindset is. Listen. I don't trip over people dating women, but when it comes to being strategical and effective, I reward, I reward good behavior from women. If they ask them, if they're acting all rebellious and masculine, they're not allowed in the kingdom. Listen, they come and they, they come along and they see how I move, which Keep a small little rotation. Listen, when one, one want to drip off, drift off, she get replaced. But that's because a man that's constantly moving forward in life, some of them women are going to come along with you. That's just how this place works. A, a woman can't slow you down. God will give you the desires of your heart. So once you start desiring certain things, You'll move a certain woman out of the way and give you another woman that's going to comply with where you're headed next in life. Progress. A lot of men don't know how to recognize progress. They think they're losing something. And you're not really losing. You're not losing. You're gaining something that's going to fit where your desires are taking you next. Hey, that's real game. Hey, over here, we manifestation bros. We gets what we want in this place. Hey, I'm going to get with y'all later. Like, subscribe, comment. I'm coming with this insight. Peace.